Alright, it is Saturday, July 14th, 2018 at 3.55pm. I decided to make a small video about winter. Winter is coming. I know it's the middle of summer, but this type of winter isn't the regular type of winter. This is a volcanic winter. I've been looking up volcanic winter. Volcanic winter is a reduction in global temperatures caused by volcanic ash and droplets of sulfuric acid and water obscuring the sun and raising Earth's albedo after a large, particularly explosive volcanic eruption. Long-term cooling effects are primarily dependent upon injection of sulfur gases into the stratosphere, where they undergo a series of reactions to create sulfuric acid, which can nuclei and form aerosolus. Volcanic stratospheric aerosolus cool the surface by reflecting solar radiation and warm the stratosphere by absorbing terrestrial radiation. So basically, a volcano causing ash to reflect the warmth off the planet and causing a volcanic winter. I was noticing that there's so many volcanoes erupting and so many almost waking up and coming to the border of being active that the one of the effects could be colder winters thus that affecting the planet and everyone in it so the effects of volcanic eruptions on recent winters are modest in scale but historical historically have been significant the most recently explosion was in 1991 on mount pinatabo a strato volcano in the philippines cooled global temperatures for two to three years see that's a small amount of time for a volcanic eruption to cool a planet the planet or a certain area but volcanic winter is a real thing. Okay, when was the last super volcano eruption? The term super volcano was first used in a TV documentary to describe eruptions of more than a thousand cubic kilometers of magma. Such volcanoes are devastating, but very rare. Very rare. The last one happened in Toba, Sumatra, in Indonesia. Also, how do volcanic eruptions lead to cool, global cooling? When volcanoes erupt, they emit a mixture of gases and particles into the air. Some of them, such as Ash, sulfuric dioxide, when have, they have a cooling effect because they or the substances they cause reflect sunlight away away from the earth. And then, can a volcanic eruption cause an ice age? Volcanoes has sparked little ice age. Uh, the volcanic eruption of Krakatoa, Indonesia, a mysterious century. Uh, centuries-long cool spell dubbed the Little Ice Age appears to have been caused by a series of volcanic eruptions and sustained by sea ice. So Krakatoa, I was like, wait a second, hadn't Krakatoa recently erupted or uh, woken up? Well, in July 4th, there was uh, a report. It says reported that during July 4th and 5th, there were four ash-producing events at Anak Krakatoa, each listing 30 to 41 seconds. Inclement weather conditions uh, prevented an estimation of ash plume height um, on July 4th. Ash plumes from event of 1409, 1425, and 1651, and on July 5th, rose 300 to 500 meters above the crater rim from the north northwest. An alert remained at Alert 2, on a scale of 1 to 4, residents and visitors were warned not to approach the volcano within 1 kilometer of the crater. So, that volcano has been on the um, activity board, meaning that they're awakening new activity of volcano. So, a volcano is being awake. So, that means that they're either... A whole bunch of volcanoes are awake, and Krakatoa, one that caused a volcanic winter or a little ice age, is actually one of those that is awake. So, it's good to keep an eye on that. And I was looking up cold temperatures to see if there were any strange news from the cold, you know, t um, report or anything. And there are some... Uh, uh, states South has one of the coldest mornings of the year. 
uh, cold temperatures to persist. So, some reports of strange cold temperatures, but it's good to be aware of all the volcanic activity and to pray that no, that volcanic winter never comes. So yeah, just wanted to research that for a little bit, see what ca I came up with, and yeah, one of those volcanoes is kind of waking up. Alright, stay aware, stay alert. God bless you guys.